glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Commander Shepard will be fighting tonight on behalf of Elkoth Combine. Give me some tips and 
Maybe we could team up. Tip one, you'll get yourself kicked out of here talking like that. It's the shell's game, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. You know, the guy that invented the Quasar rig to cheat the house a few years back. <laughs> Don't be so touchy. Just asking. Here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. Haha! <laughs> Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! Oh shit! Cerberus! Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop us? <laughs> like this. It's joking time. Which is why you should comp my drinks. No. Oh, come on! I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... Uh, Shepard! Hi! Joker, you're a great pilot and a terrible liar. <laughs> you don't say. You know, there's a bond, Shepard. A wordless bond of loyalty between commander and pilot. And today... Today, you pay for your own drinks. <laughs> Fine. What can I get for you? Fennec, hit the comms. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Birch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Virk, steal a uniform. You go in as security. Fake the arrest. Whoops, I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? <sighs> take a walk, guys. I can explain. I thought you were working on the Crucible. You know, saving the galaxy. We get shore leave. Which you spend robbing casinos. People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It can help those refugees survive. And 
it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper-held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I... By the way, are you gonna call security? Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me, is there a problem? Nope, no problem at all. I like to think I have an eye. received a new message.
Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen that vid. What? You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. But Shalai, we can never be together. I have my duty, and you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Seriously? <laughs> this won awards? My friends and I watched this vid every time we had a sleepover. Do not ruin it for me. I want you to see behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I already am. I'm gonna make some popcorn. You want anything? Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping? I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. We'll get you your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour, making it the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. You want a rental. I see. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Uh, are we getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each Council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Well, that's thoughtful, Edie. But we're not supposed to wear fancy jewelry with the uniform. Some soldiers put rings on the chain of their identification tags. I can do that. One condition, though. I'll give it back to you when we win. No, that seems inappropriate. It doesn't solely represent my hope. It's that of many different planets. It should stay with you. Hmm. I'll take that to heart. Thanks, Edie. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara.
Hey, Shepard. I see you got things cleaned up. Eventually. Yeah, sorry about that. <whistles> nice view. But this place, it's just so... not what I'm used to. Which is? I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, what's her name? <laughs> no. No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm not making things awkward for you and Liara, right? <laughs> not even remotely. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. What do you think? Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. Hasta la vista, Shepard. Catch you later, Shepard. What the hell? No. Hey, I remember seeing this when I was here for the party. Oh, man. <clears throat> this is sweet. <clears throat> Come on, let me just use it for a bit. <clears throat> this is high quality stuff. <clears throat> Maybe I could, you know, <clears throat> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? You gonna watch or you gonna join in? I love this. You get to do this all the time. Just let me have some fun. You get to do this all the time. Just let me have some fun. <clears throat> Look at you. You know, my record is 182. You think you can beat it? Maybe. Oh, this should be good. <clears throat> Keep it up, amigo. Gotta work up to it. Miranda, good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I'll get just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. 
So, a clone? Yeah. Saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? You're enjoying this, aren't you? They shut down my favorite sushi place. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. Although, executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. It was the first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. Good thing, but why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire... It's crazy. I'd describe it as engaging, rather than dangerous. I'll drink to that. <laughs> Trust me, I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real Shepard? I don't know, you just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on, you rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only Shepard left. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. Greetings, Commander. Shepard. I didn't know you could play. Actually, this is the only song I know. Why's that? There was always something more important to do. A ruin to uncover, intel to gather, a commander to save. Ha! You couldn't sit still long enough. <laughs> could you? Is there something special about this song? <sighs> On one of my first digs, a storm swept in. We were trapped inside. I was so restless. I wanted to get back to work. One of the other archaeologists, Dr. Olena, had this keyboard. She took it everywhere. She taught me to play this song while we waited. It's a good song. Thank you, Shepard. I've always loved that song. sure you don't run off to something more important. I can't imagine what that would be. We should do this more often. 
Yes, well, maybe after. Every day after. Shepard. This place is nice. Shall I transfer over your reports so that you might work here? Yes, thank you, Glyph. Glyph, can you copy that song to my personal files on the Normandy? Certainly, Dr. Tassoni. Shepard. Welcome aboard, Shepard. So where are we going? Activating external cameras. I didn't know this shuttle had virtual windows. But there's more you don't know about this bird. What's that supposed to mean? Before Mass Effect fields, there was no such thing as inertial dampeners. Yeah? Here, feel this. Whoa! That, my friend, is unadulterated momentum. Want to really feel it? Show me. <laughs> you see? It doesn't take much to pull a few Gs. Back in the day, pilots would wear G-suits. It squeezes your body so that the blood stays in your head in tight maneuvers. I'd wear a G-suit when flying my Trident. In a fighter, it's common to transfer power from the inertial dampeners to other systems. You miss flying fighters? Can't imagine you're too thrilled to be flying a shuttle. Hell no. I'm not just any shuttle pilot. I'm your shuttle pilot. Wouldn't have it any other way. When you're on the ground, weapon in hand, you're invincible. But when we're approaching an LZ, you're just another soldier. Vulnerable. Nothing you can do if we're shot down. Getting you to the ground alive is a responsibility I wouldn't trust to anyone else. Well, I might trust Joker to do the job. Oh, that hurts, Shep. Moreau can fly a frigate, I'll give him that, but give him something with real maneuverability? Come on. Duty calls, huh? Even with a hangover? Yeah, there's still a war on. Unless the Reapers are on shore leave, too? I'm guessing they're not. Round everyone up, pass out the aspirin, and have them report to the Normandy. You got it. I suppose it's back to the fight. At least we threw one hell of a party. Probably the last one. You may be right. But whatever happens, I know you'll see this through. And I'll be right there with you. We've 
been through a lot, haven't we? But it's been a good ride. <laughs> the best. Commander? Looks exactly the same as the others. That's exactly the point, Dad. Other than a couple small badges, nobody knows the difference. I mean, the car barely rolled me. C-Set would be all over the sky if it was decked out. I try to let loose with a concussive shot, but I'm covered in those bees, the swarmers, everything's overloaded. And then this huge bionic explosion. Good news. Procurement has authorized you for the Grawl Spike Door, Mark 7. It didn't help that we had some brutal side objectives, but even then, we had to disable these Reaper indoctrination devices, and this crazy ex Cerberus Vanguard guy insists on doing it. He's running all over the place getting killed, and I'm yelling at him, let me do it, I can cloak. <sighs> Infiltrate a court for devices, or engineer with drone or decoy, or me, because me no die. Yes, thank you. Officer. Someone requested my presence concerning an incident with the Krogan? Right this way, Commander. So, Grunt, anything you want to tell me about? Uh, this clown wants to take me to lockup. Figured I'd give you a call, straighten this out. Commander Shepard, I apologize for the intrusion. This Krogan insisted we contact you. It's okay. I vouch for him. I'll sign any paperwork you have, officer. Yes, ma'am. What happened? I don't know. Drank a bit, left the hospital. 
broke a few windows. But you were in that hospital recovering from the Rachni encounter. Yeah, didn't feel like sticking around. Most people stick around long enough to, you know, heal. Most people aren't me. And why is CSEC here? Guess they're precious about some broken glass. I understand you getting out of there. Can't stand hospitals either. Yeah, full of sick people. Right. Tell me about the windows. A couple of squad mates broke me out for my birthday. Tried lowering me down the side of the building on a rope. It didn't work out. It's your birthday? No, I'm tank bread, remember? Anyway, we got some pictures on the Krogan Memorial. In the Presidium? Yeah, when CSEC got there, they were mad. Or maybe they were mad about their car being on fire. I can't remember. Why was it on fire? I threw my bottle of ring call at it. Pretty strong stuff. It went up like a bonfire. The CSEC guys jumped out. Then I figured they didn't want it, so I took it. We didn't get very far before they shut us down. Sprayed us down with riot foam. <laughs> didn't work so well on me. And why is that? Because I was on fire. You know, from the car. Come on, Shepard, keep up. Right, sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. Let me handle this. Officer, this Krogan is part of a secret Spectre task force. Operation Fire Cobra Claw. Operation Fire Cobra Claw? That's right. I can take it from here. Send me the bill for any damages. That's what you've been signing for, Commander. You're lucky, Krogan. Don't let me catch you up here again. You won't. Thank you, officer. So, how were those noodles? A little spicy. <laughs> I love you, Grunt. <laughs> Hey, Shepard, over here. Thanks for coming by. Good to see you. What's up? Out for a little R&R. &R. You? Exactly. Same thing. Hey, Jacob. I'm out of credits. Who are they? Their parents are MIA. Volunteered to take them on for the weekend, get their minds off things. What about us, Shepard? There's got to be a game of skill in there with our names on it. Bring it on, Taylor. Let's see what you've got. This is your game of skill? Now, Shepard, I'll try not to embarrass you. Really? Trash talk at Shattered Ezo? Hell yeah, my pride is on the line. Also, these kids look up to me, so I have to take you down. You're gonna take me down? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, step up, Shepard. Although it might be tough not having your squad to carry you. You're on. No pressure, Shepard. These people already idolize you. So when you choke, it won't matter. Hey, hey you're crowding me? Am I? My bad. Stand back, everyone. Shepard needs extra room to make the magic happen. Ready? Let's do this. Glad none of your friends are here to see your humiliation. Let our 
all you got? Come on, come on, come on. Yes. That all you got? Are you crying yet, Jacob? I was robbed, I tell you. Ah, you probably let me win. Come on, Shepard. Let's grab some food. I'm buying. Rex, what are you doing here? Uh, escaping. Ever since we cured the genophage, it's been nothing but work. Council been riding you? Bah! Not those project shit slingers. No, it's the. It's the female shepherd. Now that they're fertile again. Oh, I haven't slept in. I don't know how long. Can I get you two anything? Two more drinks. And another bag of ice. I would have thought you'd be enjoying the perks of Krogan fertility. Enjoying it? There's a line of females outside my dwelling right now. It stretches on for as far as you can see. I had to sneak out my own bathroom window. Even then, I was cornered by two more females on the ride from Tuchonka. And it's just you. They're not spreading the love around? Sure, but everyone wants their firstborn in generations to be strong and fit. I'm the leader of Clan Erdnot. I brought an end to the genophage. Everyone on Tuchonka wants a piece of me. I'm telling you, Shepard, I'm in no shape to fight Reapers. Aren't you in charge? They could at least hold off until after the war. You've never been stalked by a fertile Krogan female, Shepard. There is no holding off, just holding. Here are your drinks. And a bag of ice. Morden's procedure was painful. Oh well. <laughs> Shit, Shepard. We sure have been through it, haven't we? Still going through it. <laughs> True. Well, here's to us. And to going through it. I'll drink to that. Carball! 
It means victory or death, roughly. Ah, but you can't die, Rex. You got a family now. A really big family. Ah, more ice! being Pijaks in Macbeth, unless they lived in Burnham Wood. Did Pijaks come to Dunsany? I added the Pijak in. He will view events with an animal innocence, uncorrupted by ambition. I can't believe no one's thought of that before. It's brilliant. Hannah Shepard here. Hi, Mom. Oh, honey. Oh, it's so good to hear your voice. This is a surprise. It's been a long time. It has. I, I just felt I needed to... I think about you every day. I try not to worry. The other day, I was remembering the bedtime stories we used to make up. You had your own ship and crew. The stories were always filled with adventure and danger. <laughs> yeah. Huh. I haven't thought about that in a while. <laughs> Me neither. Oh, you'd always swoop in to punish the bad guys to save the day. So, there you are. Even when you were little, you dreamed of the life you have. Is that the reason you wanted me to call? No. I... just want you to know that I am... proud of you, honey. So proud.
You sure you want to leave that here? I can't very well bring it back to the Normandy. I'd have nowhere to put it. This place is amazing. Puts the prefabs back on Horizon to shame. And it has a hot tub. Go ahead. Cheers! Oh, this is lovely. And good for the sinuses. I might not even need my antihistamine tonight. Your what? It's a pill. I'm allergic to dust. And cats. And public speaking. I take a proton pump inhibitor for my stomach, too. And an inhaler for asthma. I didn't realize people still had conditions like that. No offense. None taken. My body's just this inconvenient thing I used to carry my mind around. The colony where I grew up has limited resources. You only get gene therapy if you have a life-threatening condition. There was some scented bath oil out there somewhere. Could you grab it? Yeah. Here you go. Thanks. Eyes are over here and up here. <laughs> hey, do you have a loofah? A loofah? This is Anderson's apartment, remember? I highly doubt he has a... Found one! Somebody left an overnight bag with toiletries and massage oils and... You know, girly stuff. Do you know who Kay Sanders is? She has great taste in adjustable massage ones. Sorry we're late. Somebody forgot to pick up the cerveza. Come on in. That somebody was you. Didn't say it was. So when's the game? It's about to start. Seattle Sorcerers versus Usaru Maestros. Gonna be some intense by out of all. Nah, it's just a goodwill game for troop morale. They'll take it easy. With Earth and Thessia both occupied, how could they stay focused on a game? Uh, you haven't seen Derek Rogers' game lately. Man, he and the Sorcerers have been tearing it up. Esteban, the Maestros don't lose. Have you seen Tyra Tassanis play? The woman is blue lightning. Mr. Vega, your love of the Asari team has more to do with how they look than how they play. Hey, that's not true. Not entirely. Besides, you telling me you don't got the hots for some of the Sorcerers? Okay, okay. Guilty as charged. Who are you backing, Shepard? I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Uh, the Seattle Sorcerers are one of the few human b-ball teams left. They were on tour when Earth was hit. Since acquiring Donna Novotny from the Hackers, they've been completely unstoppable. Yeah, but most of the Maestros have been playing since before First Contact. They'll win this. I know the Sorcerers have never beaten the Maestros, but they've never been this hungry either. So, Chef, who's it gonna be? You don't bet against the home team. Mr. Vega! I hope you're hungry for humble pie. When has our commander ever been wrong? Come on, man. The game started. Merda! He was out! You're blind, ref! Yes! They did it! Now pay up. Hey, why didn't you let me in on the betting? We weren't exactly betting on who'd win. We were betting on if you'd pick the winner. And everyone knows, you don't bet against Shepard. Anyway, it was a hell of a game. Yeah, great evening. Thank you, Shepard. My pleasure. Tomorrow comes early. Hasta luego.
Hey, Shepard, I'm starving. What do you got? We're heading out, Caden. I'm so tired of Apollos. I'm gonna cook. Oh, no, really? <laughs> Come on. You want me to sit there and watch you cook? <laughs> you're not watching me cook. You're helping me drink beer. Now sit your ass down. What are we having? Canadian delicacy of some sort? Uh, sure. Exactly. We have, uh, beef, we have bacon, we have beer. The foods of my people. Wish me luck. If this food poisons me, I'll have you sorting widgets with Adams for a month. Noted. Plus, I'll kick your ass. Relax. It's gonna be great. Guess we'll find out. So, remember how I saved the Citadel? And then you weren't there. I survived a suicide mission. All these close calls I've had, only to be taken out by dinner. Can it at least be quick and painless? Funny. You think I hauled your butt out of the fire all those times just to poison you here now? I just took down my clone. I gotta figure anything's possible. Huh. Do we have hot sauce? That was great. I was still waiting for the botulism to kick in. I, I thought I was pretty good. I'm messing with you, Kay. Can I call you Kay? No. I didn't think so. See? Sensitive. Or maybe you're being an ass. Major, did you just call your CO an ass? No. I called my friend an ass. Talk about sensitive. Ha. Huh. We are gathered here to honor the life of Thane Krios. Thane touched each of our lives in different ways. The Counselor knew him as a hero. The Normandy's crew knew him as a brother in arms. And others as a father devoted to his son. There's an old human saying, Whoever saves one life, saves the world entire. It's not about a planet, but the value of each of us. I don't know how many times Thane saved my life or I saved his when we were beyond the Omega-4 Relay. It all happened pretty fast. But I do know my whole world could have come to an end then. And it didn't. We cannot thank Thane. But for those of us who have more time in this life because of him, we can remember how he lived. If we do that, he is not truly gone. Would anyone else like to speak? What I remember about Thane was his confidence. He told me once about how he remembered everything, even every mistake he made. If I did that, I'd be a nervous wreck. Thane kept it under control. It's strange, but the last word I'd label Thane with is assassin. And we covered each other in firefights. That makes him a partner. Thane took himself seriously, a trait with which I did not always agree. I tried to make him laugh on several occasions. But what I interpreted as a lack of humor was masking a great effort. Thane was turning his life around in a way few organics do. The day Thane came onto the Normandy, all Kelly and I knew about him was that he could probably kill us all with a ballpoint pen. But after you got to know him, 
There wasn't any reason to be afraid. He let you know where you stood. Kolyat, do you, uh... When I was little, I thought my father had it all figured out. He said men must be loyal to their friends and dangerous to their enemies. But when he prevented me from, from hurting someone, he had changed. He said enemies and ego are not as important as loved ones. I didn't want to hear it. I was lost. I called him a hypocrite in a thousand different ways, said that he was going soft. Now, I think maybe he did have it all figured out. That's all I can say. If anyone would like to continue, we'll be here. Looks like people are starting to clear out. Commander, thank you for holding this event. In time, it will be a good memory. He was one of us. Yes. He did not have many friends. The Normandy was... good for him. If you will excuse me, I should take this opportunity to speak with the Counselor. About what? He is feeling grateful. And I want to point out there are some Solarian biologists who need funding. If anyone would be able to create a breakthrough in the treatment of Keppel's syndrome, it would be them. If you need someone to hold the counselor's feet to a fire, I'm there. I appreciate the offer, but Counselor Valorn has recently orated about funding science during wartime. My odds are good. Oh, before I go, I was organizing my father's possessions, and I came upon copies of video messages he tried to send you. I sent them to your extranet address. I hope they help more than they hurt. Until we meet again, Commander. Shepard, I suppose I should thank you for my freedom. Leaving the Normandy was the right decision. It was saddening to see our crew go their separate ways. But it is better than answering questions in an Alliance interrogation room. I hope this message finds you well. As for me, I have moved into an apartment on the Citadel not far from Kolyad. I think the first attack I had frightened him. I will spare you the details. It seemed very dramatic at the time. But in comparison to the Omega Relay, it was a child's game. In any case, good luck getting the Alliance to listen to you. Let's keep in touch. Shepard, if you sent a message back, I didn't get it. I suppose communications from someone of my reputation would be restricted. The irony is, I am a danger to no one these days. I am even paying taxes on my investments. I can't expect Kolyat to do so if I don't. He is doing better. He has no significant other, and he is temperamental. But he is employed and staying out of crime. I can tell he is serious about changing. It has cost him more than a few friends. Send something back if you can, Shepard. I can only learn so much from news reports about you. I have tried a false identity to try to get this message through to you. We'll see if it works. I have good news and bad. The 
the good news is that Kolyat and I took a few days to visit Earth. Light the shade of her eyes. Trill sound of chirping stops. I scan the ground. See two tiny bodies locked by claws. Excuse me. As I was saying, we saw a beautiful sunset in New Mexico and a scorpion eating a cricket. I wish you could have joined us. The bad news is, I had... I fainted and struck my head. Kolyat has convinced me to stay at Huerta Memorial on the Citadel. I will be there from now on. I still don't want to die in a hospital. But it's where the doctors are. And Kolyat. I love him. That means I must trust him. Goodbye, Shepard. Let me say that now, in case I cannot later. Status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. Council reports that food shortages may happen in the near future. We got your people off to Kuna, Ambassador. Utterly sincere. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. This is not a debt we can repay. Were you able to evacuate any civilians? Yes. How many? Your intel, right? I found these encryption codes on a Cerberus engineer. I thought they might be helpful. Cerberus ciphers? That's exactly what we've been looking for. Thank you, Commander. 
Yes. Commander Shepard found some encryption algorithms. The team is expecting results soon now. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. These are dark days for all of us. You got your work cut out for you. You and me both, Shepard. Arsenal supplies. Thank you. Come again. Welcome to Kanala Exports. Thank you for shopping at Kanala Exports. <laughs> Thank you, Earth Clan. Actually, I found a Cacliosaurus skull preserved in amber. Maybe you could clone it, or... You're kidding? You're kidding. Seriously? Well, um, if, if the genetic material is intact, we could... Hmm. Well, we've got cloning facilities on Sirkesh. Cacliosaur genes were remarkably pliable. Cloning might be effective. Really? And they're already riding the first units into battle? Well, that's... that's great. No, no, don't worry about it. Cacliosaur part here. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to Nosostra Sporting Goods. Thank you for shopping at Nosostra Sporting Goods. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. Casa Fabrication Weaponry hasn't forgotten Earth. Neither should you. I've recovered the obelisk of Karza. It's waiting for you in Bay D-24. You have? It's amazing! Thank you, Commander. That's going to help immeasurably with some very sensitive work. How's the translation going? Really? Excellent. Well, hopefully it unlocks more intel from the Archive.
Inspector status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Excuse me. I recovered the rings of a loon. They're waiting in bay D-24. That's wonderful. Thank you. My people will treat this miraculous find as a call to support their local hospitals. Yes, I'm seeing increased turnout as well. Welcome to Serta. Be safe. Any improvement? Yes, the counter agent is finally starting to kick in. I recovered the code of the ancients from Dakuna. It's waiting for you in Bay D24. Who are those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. Welcome to Batarian State Arms.
Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I know, I know. You don't have to say anything. But I'm about to make my comeback. You just gonna stand there and watch? Nice! I found a Prothean Sphere on Gay Hinnom. Contact the Alliance and tell them Commander Shepard asked them to pay you for it. Yes, thank you. I'll call them right now. Thank you, Commander. I've gotten food for my family. And for some of the others who were Son trapped here, too. Bitch. Request a transfer to a zone with Reaper, Sergeant. And may I ask why you think your deployment deserves special treatment, Private? I think I'll be better against the Reaper. Silver Coast Casino. Miranda, cute outfit, Shepard. Perfect. Thought we might try an evening out. Sounds like you have some time to catch your breath. I do, just not used to it. Feeling a bit lost. <laughs> it's kind of sad, really. I got to thinking we needed a break. No point saving the galaxy if we can't enjoy it once in a while. You've picked a good spot to unwind. Any ideas? A few. I'll probably need a bit of a push. A push? I was thinking about our talk earlier. About having a normal life. Damn. I'm not very good at this. Truth is, Shepard, I'm not very good at being normal either. Bit of a disaster, really. I get it. We just need a little practice. Any ideas? I don't know. Um, maybe we can talk about regular stuff. No evil clones, no picking time bombs, just talk. Regular stuff? Okay. Like shoes or something? <laughs> sure. Uh, we're not really girls. 
girly girls, are we? <laughs> no. We can't pretend to be anything other than troubleshooting space divas. You know, that does sound pretty cool. It does. All right, let's quit worrying and just enjoy ourselves. At least till we run out of credits. Right. Need more wine. Now you're talking. Waiter, space diva needs more wine. Oh, God. I'm gonna regret this. We're a couple of girls out on the town. What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Come on, partner. Let's start some trouble. speed is well and good, but how does it corner? Flips the corners like a songbird on a sunny morning. Uh, right. So what? A private cabin on a stealth warship isn't enough for you? I'm watching the place for a friend. What are you doing? Calling Izo. Izo? <laughs> yeah, he's from Thessia. Naturally biotic from all the element zero. The biotics make them short-tempered, so a lot of them get abused or abandoned. Can you imagine someone doing that? I found him at a rescue place. I'm trying to teach him that it's okay to trust people. He started out really angry, but I've been giving him lots of love, and now he's a big old softy. Oh. What? You're aware of the parallels here, right? What the hell are you talking about, Shepard? Mistreated biotic that... No? Never mind. Forget I said anything. Yeah. Who's my badass biotic? Mm -hmm. Who's my badass biotic? 